If you get the P200 almost ready to fly version, then you're gonna need a receiver, and there are two types of receivers out there. There are PPM and PWM receivers. A PWM receiver uses one wire for each channel. A PPM receiver uses one wire for all the channels. This is a FlySky FSA6 receiver, and although it doesn't say that it's set up for PPM, this actually came out of the ROA Parkour 280 and it uses a FlySky FSI4X transmitter and it seems to already be configured for PPM so I literally just plugged this uh, receiver in and uh, of course we've got to program the flight controller and uh, this uh, flight controller can be programmed with Clean Flight. You're gonna have to download Google Chrome and install the Clean Flight application but as soon as I plugged in the quad rotor, it was all pretty straightforward. Um, it actually detected pretty much all the settings. I uh, went through and put it on a flat surface and clicked the calibrate button to calibrate the gyro and uh, so forth. Um, under configuration, it was all pretty much set up. Motor stops already ready. Um, everything was pretty much already set up. Uh, set a tar XPPM there. Um, fail safe was already armed and ready didn't have to do any PID tuning. Uh, the receiver, as soon as I plugged my battery in and turned on the receiver, I was able to see the receiver uh, telemetry and all the channels were mapped correctly so that I didn't really have to do anything there. Um, the modes were already set up, uh, didn't have to change adjustments, servos, GPS, those aren't necessary. Um, motors, I did calibrate the speed controllers. It's really simple to do. You just click this checkbox and then raise the master all the way up. And then as soon as you do, you plug the battery in. The speed controllers will beep at you. And then after they make that beep, you lower the master back down to zero. And then the speed controllers will beep at you one more time let you know that they're calibrated and then you can uncheck that box and of course you can do LED strip setup if you want uh, CLI uh, let's see I typed in set loop time equals 1600 and then hit enter and then type save and then hit enter and it'll save and reboot to the aircraft and we should be ready to go so let's go ahead and put on the props take it outside and see how it flies so here's the JJ Pro 200 this was the almost ready to fly version I have put my receiver on there and uh, programmed it with clean flight uh, I've got the antenna run up through just a little straw here it's over 250 grams so I've got my FAA registration number on there uh, tested it out it seemed to want to move forward back left right and spin but let's see how good of a job I did programming it again he doesn't have landing gear so he just kind of sits on the battery I'm sure it's gonna be interesting okay we've got a video signal there let's go ahead and start recording that so he is hovering seems pretty stable Again, I just pretty much programmed him with the uh, stock clean flight settings. And he should have two flight modes. And he should be in the calmer of the two flight modes right now. Okay, he seems to be flying all right. The controls seem to be working properly. Let's go ahead and try a landing without any landing gear. Okay, well, seems all right. Let's strap on the FPV glasses. And that was him disarming himself. I tested the failsafe too by arming him and starting the rotors and then uh, turning off the transmitter and he turned himself off so he shouldn't go flying away on me. But let's try out some FPV flight 
with the JJ Pro P200. See what my range is. Starting to get my style. Okay, there's my range. It's about as far away as I want to get with him because he starts getting staticky. Let's see if I can go around this pylon here. There's a lot of static. I'm getting a little bit of static here, a little bit more than I would like to be getting. I'm going to bring him in for a landing, check my antennas, maybe hit the search because I don't want his video signal dropping out on me. Oh, I see somebody walking up the path, so I will try not to land on them. Yeah, I will bring him in for a line of sight landing. I'm not going to try an FPV landing. I don't know, he... bounces a little bit. I'm going to try and push his camera down a little bit further if I can. That's as far down as this is going to go. I'd like to be able to see the ground a little bit better down low. I'm getting a good amount of static through this receiver, but these aren't the best glasses in the world. They've seen a lot. Okay, let's try it again. And we will try it in the high speed mode. Again, I just programmed this with uh, clean flight with just the two basic modes. Okay, now he should be a little bit of a pepper. Yes, he is a little bit of a pepper. Boy, he is moving. I'm just going back and forth in front of us right now. This is nowhere near as fast as he can go. I'm sure he could go a little bit faster than this. So this is just some back and forth pylon racing. Did I hear him beeping at me? Go back into stable mode. Is his low voltage alarm beeping? I didn't hear him beeping. Let's see. No. He does have a beeper on him though, so when his voltage get, gets low, he will start to beep. He's a really good uh, high-speed pylon racer. Um, not as good of a precision obstacle course flyer. Let's see if I can try not to kill him here. Fly through some obstacles. But he's a really good high-speed pylon racer. If you're looking for high speed, this is, you know, a decent aircraft. He's, I don't know if it's my programming or what. He's got a little bit of twitch here and there. And I'm not getting the longest range in the world with him, but he's about to fly right in front of you. I'm going to turn, go back to the pylons. Let's go back into high speed mode. He does fly pretty stable though. Got a little bit of wind out here and it's pushing him around a little bit. Let's 
See, he beeps every once in a while, and I don't know if that's his low voltage alarm or something else. See, he keeps beeping at me. I don't know why. Oh, there is some static. I am standing in a metal structure, so if I walk forward a little bit, it will probably help my video reception. Let's see if I can get myself in view. Okay. is beeping at me. Third person walking is difficult. Okay, so we've been flying for about 10 minutes and we've got a low voltage beep, so let's go ahead and land it. I mean, you know, it does all right without the landing gear. You know, it didn't kill itself. Low voltage alarm is a uh, nice beeper. That's actually our speaker right there. That little black piece right there is our low voltage speaker. But yeah, it did all right. Pull my little straw off there. Hooking up the uh, receiver was pretty quick and easy. It only took, you know, about five, 10 minutes. Uh, it was pretty easy to program. I will probably have to go through and tune the flight settings a little bit to see if I can get rid of some of that shake. It's got a little bit of shake here and there. But for a low cost racer from JJ Pro, I mean, they did a pretty good job. If you're looking for an obstacle course flyer, something that'll fly through, you know, this pavilion here, or fly through the trees, uh, maybe not the best choice. I don't know. It's more of a high speed racer not a uh, forced flyer but definitely worth checking out if you want to check out the jj pro p200 there's a link in the description to banggood.com as always we appreciate you watching rc 101 with the Dallas flyer don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more